Hey folks, it's IOE Thorn. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is the Danish Bacon, and he's back. He sent us another one. Um, so if Danish sends me a replay, I want to watch it. There, there hasn't been a replay sent to me yet by the Danish Bacon that hasn't been amazing. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I. I, I was so excited. I got this in my um, my replay section of Discord the other day. And I went, oh, I can't wait till I get to record that. And so today, I'm sorry, this video is going to be really late when it comes out. Um, I started this morning really early at work. And I just finished work. And I'm really exhausted. And I still I need to record this. So it, it doesn't matter when this comes out. I'm going to record this. I'm going to put it out. I feel like I've paused the game, but I haven't. This is just what's going on. He, he's got a uh, <laughs> one shell of premium load, and the rest of them are going to be standard. Okay. Obviously, he's trying to catch somebody running across that open space. Um, and he, he does it briefly, apparently, and then does, then decides he, he's going to go do something useful. And starts pushing up here, looking for... Ooh. Ooh, that's a panther. That's a bad place, panther. You don't... Oh, I wish we were loaded right now, right? Well, it is... It is a... <laughs> it's a patent. Yeah? English. My brain. Not always on the same page, but... Uh, yeah, so this is an M46 patent. It does reload nice and quickly. And I've just realized the aiming reticle is still not... My aiming reticle. I uh, I thought I fixed all the the changes, um, but apparently I I forgot a couple. Um, and for some reason, when I installed the new version of World Tanks, this this version, this is the older version, it it flubbed up and it changed all my settings. <sighs> and now I feel it. it. It's just irritating watching this, but. Unfortunately, we have also not been able to find a shot since that panther was dragged. So that being said, we're going to need to start looking for... Oh, well, that's a dead tank now. Start looking for shots somewhere. Uh, this... Ooh. Well, I mean, if he's going to walk out side on, we're going to say hi. He's looking for other shots, but it looks like that... T-44 is probably going to be the only one... No, mind. <laughs> He's dead. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh. Did he set him... Oh, for a second there, I thought he set him on fire. He did not. He did get spotted, however. So that means there's definitely going to be people looking our way, or not. Or the Indian Panzer. Yeah, there we go. The Indian Panzer does look our way. Does fire. <laughs> we get a whole 800 spying damage. And then the Indian dies. Good. That's the way you always want the enemy playing their Indian bands. Or, you know, all their tanks, for that matter. <laughs> and fortunately, though, if you look at the map, you realize that <laughs> the enemies have won everything except for the zero line. And so, from now on, it's going to be an uphill fight. Uh, seriously, it's going to be an uphill fight. We're going to have to climb this hill as we fight. Um... As a nude is, it's not particularly good at, well, assaulting. So, as long as he continues to push it forward, we have the opportunity to do some damage to it. I can't believe that I forgot to... <sighs> Excuse me a second. That's going to irritate the bejesus at me. Just turn everything on. There we go. Oh, yeah. That ah, feels better. <laughs> See what I mean with the Udis not being a um, an assault tank? It can attack, but it can't really do anything while it's attacking. Uh, it's not like, you know, the FCM or um, even the T-10, which have the speed to get places pretty quickly and the armor to do something and bad it while it's getting there. And, of course, the gun... Uh, they can be fired on the move. Though, more in the FCM's case, less in the T-10's case. 
But that is a WZ that just took out our artillery. And now there's only a few of us left on the team. But of course, the WZ is going to walk out. I was going to say he's going to walk out into the open, but that's not quite what he's doing. He's in fact going down into the ditch and he's going to circle around. It's a really great tactic on his part. It's annoying as far as we're concerned. T10 is pushing up. T10 is going to find us here. T10 is going to not do something about it. But unfortunately, he's going to die because of the shot from the Scorpion G impacted him just before we got there. And so we can secure that kill. Ooh, another kill we can secure. WZ pushing up. Nice job. Uh, because, of, of course, the fact that APCR shells fly so fast, you pretty much just have to point and click. And most of the time, the target is hit. Um, the only problem with these shells is because of the fact that you're thinking, um, because of the fact that they're pretty much just point and click, uh, you don't, don't need to give them lag. A lot of people will actually miss in front of targets because you're, you know, if you go into this point in the game, you're assuming that people are going to be, and you're starting to lead people with, you know, for your normal shots already. And then APCR just throws a complete whack in that, and it's hard to, uh, to get the aiming time down again. So, uh, it's, uh, it's amusing how many times I've missed in front of people that I, I shouldn't have missed. Unfortunately, he does not want to go toe-toe -to with an E75, even if that E75 isn't on full health. Um, with only having two allies left against three enemies, it's pretty close. E75 is a one-shot, however... There's still an enemy T49 play, so we gotta play this a little bit screwy, because if he does the wrong thing, then we could vanish in a cloud of, of HE. I don't know what the E75 thought he was gonna do, because there was never a time when that was gonna work. Uh, we're gonna speed this up, because at this point in time, we know where both enemies are, and they're nowhere near us, so there's no point in us being down here. Except to climb back up and try and find a better position to attack them from. As we slow back down again, we should be cresting this hill and seeing the M5355. But I'm not certain we're going to see the artillery. Or not the artillery, the scout tank, because of course the fact that he is just so far out there. Oh, I guess I'll be yawning. I need a nap, is what I need. But first, I need to get the video out, so. Um, it looks like we're going to circle around. I'm going to speed up because, of course, we all know where he's going. We all know what he's doing. And we all don't need to see him. <laughs> Make this giant circle. Our T44 rushes in, spots the M53, starts taking him down, gets shot by the M53 in return, and then gets deleted by the C49. M43 was er, M53. Sorry, was almost killed, but unfortunately not quite. And ooh, shot along the ridge line, but because we had AP order, we had AP order. Right? Unfortunately, we missed. Unfortunately, though, basically so did he. Um, he did do a bunch of damage to us, and we're definitely a one-shot for him. However, if he misses, it's going to be game over in our favor. I mean, yeah. I forgot. Well, he didn't miss. <laughs> but it didn't kill us either. So that means we got about 20 seconds to Rigo to get up this hill and shoot him before it matters at all. Where is he? Oh, he's fast enough he screwed out even in that little bit of time. Good job. Um, I wouldn't have... Oh, no, he's right there. And he just whiffed. That is game. Because we're just going to hit him. Yeah, we're going to ram him. And, um... Lock on. Yep, there we go. Wow. That... <laughs> was well played. And the fact that he just, he baited out that shot, as soon as he baited it, he knew it. He just dropped the hammer and he went in, and that's exactly what he needed to do. 
Well played, sir. Let's go see what he got. First class, he gets Spotter, Duelist, or er, yeah, Duelist, Bruiser, Fire for Effect. He has a Bond off that and Top Gun. That's a ton of experience, considering it didn't feel like we got all that much damage off. If you look over here, it turns out we didn't. But we did get a ton of kills. Unfortunately, just shy of that Radley Walters. And so apparently, the, based on the number of kills and the fact they spawned mostly his own damage, he did get 1300 basic uh, spine damage, which is pretty impressive. Um, if you flip over to the last page, you can see it cost him a little bit, but it's worth it, I think. Well done, sir. This was an awesome game. I can't wait to see your next one. And thank you for saying it in. Thank you all who understand why this game is late. And uh, we're going to try and fix that going forward. That is pretty much my goal. There's no more late videos. We'll see if it works. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bright and early for another video.